Hi, I'm going to talk to you about a website called MightyNest.com today. Uh, they do a green uh, product subscription for uh, which is called Mighty Fix. I'm actually subscribed to it, and they send you a green product every month. Not necessarily plastic free, but uh, things that are reusable and that are good for your house and that you can um, make use of again and again and not make uh, our landfills even more contaminated than they already are. Uh, I've been subscribed to it for quite a few months and I want to share the products that they've sent me and the alternates that I was using before I had those products. And if I'm satisfied with the products that they sent me, um, and yeah, one more thing that I want to mention before I go any further is I'm in Canada. So for me, the subscription costs $13 a month. This is the shipping and the product and everything included. If you're in US, it costs you $10 a month. Uh, but usually the product is, uh, I've been satisfied with the quality and the quantity of the product for $13. So I stuck on to the subscription and uh, in fact renewed it. And let me talk about the things that I got. So one of the first things I'm going to mention are dryer balls. So I know that there are dry sheets available, but they're reusable. Uh, they're not reusable and you throw them out and that I don't find them very effective. I actually never use them. Uh, but when I heard about dryer balls, I was very interested. So the first thing I did was I went to a shop that's close to my house and I got these plastic dryer balls. And they're pretty good, but you can uh, you can see that they're empty from inside, and they're like they have these weird shapes. You can even get like animal shapes, dryer balls from the shop. And then the Mighty Fix sent me these three woolen dryer balls, and they're woolen and they're very stuffy and they're very soft, and I think they're doing their job well. And since now I have five, including the plastic ones, I'm not buying more. And overall, I'm satisfied with this product. I think that it does do a good job. And I like having them in my dryer. Um, second thing that I'm going to talk about is sunscreen. Now, they sent me this product in late July or August. Uh, no, sorry, in August or a, yeah, I think August. And this was the product that I was using beforehand. And I know this is a bad product. This is Copper Tone 60, SPF 60 uh, spray um, sunscreen, which I know is useless and it makes a lot of mess and it doesn't even stick to the body. And uh, Copper Tone is not considered one of the best companies for uh, a good sunscreen. But I had this and I was using this because it was convenient and I didn't know any better. And then they sent me a ThinkSport SPF 50 sunscreen. And I started using this. The good thing about the sunscreen is it's not very oily, uh, but it's a cream, so it's not as convenient as a spray. But I did use it. However, it was, the summer was ending and, and we did go out, but I didn't use it as much. So I barely used it in the beginning. <coughs> And now the next thing I'm going to talk about are produce bags. So they sent me five produce bags, large and small. This is pretty uh, well long. Uh, and I think this is a shorter one. And oh, they're the same ones. So they also sent me some short ones and some long ones. They all have different colored tabs. At the end, if you can see, there's a purple, a blue, a red, a blue. Um, this one has a yellow. And they have a drawstring on the top. They are they're the meshy material, so they don't add any weight. They sent me five of these, and I've been using them at my produce aisle. I, before this, I was using the plastic bags that they were giving me. Um, I didn't like using them, but I was looking for an alternative and they sent me this and I really enjoy these. The two cons to this is, first, I don't think they're long enough to keep things like spinach. Sometimes my spinach is kind of spilling over, so I put the leaves in first and the stalks out. Um, the, it can get really bulky if you have um, bananas. And... Uh, 
The other problem with this is that I don't always have them in my bag. So sometimes I'm changing my bags or I'm not go I'm not in, I haven't planned out my trip to the uh the vegetable market or the fruit market and when I do go there then I have to get these Third thing that I want to talk about are these um, uh, lunch uh, reusable bags that they sent me. They sent me these two, the small one and the big one. I, you can name, put your name like I did for my son. They are Velcro. Like this. And you can wash them in your uh, dishwasher. I already had a few of my own lunch bags i had these and these they're very good they're by Col colibri uh which is a canadian brand uh these ones that they sent me are a little shorter so they do fit in a sandwich still but they, they're not as roomy and you have to sort of stuff it in uh the second one is good for things like cucumbers or I actually have cucumbers on these right now because i sent them uh, yesterday, <clears throat> anyway, uh, what I like about these bags is that they have a zipper. So they're easier to pack in and to wash. You just turn them upside down and wash them. And I'm afraid the Velcro over time will get a little nasty. But right now I'm using them. The more lunch bags are better, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Second thing that I want to talk about are these dish cloths that I sent me. And I know dish cloths are one of those items that you can make again and again at your place by anything. Like I use I cloth diapers so I can, sorry that's my son, that's my three year old son who wants water. Yeah. So you can make use of flats, old cloths, whatever you have uh, to clean your counter space or whatever they send me these dishcloths which are very cute and what I like about them is that I have a hook in my um, kitchen so I just hook them on they're a nice length they send me four of these <clears throat> but before this like I said <clears throat> my favorite washcloth for the kitchen or counter cleaner, cloth cleaning gloves whatever were these microfiber inserts that I was getting with my cloth diapers and I was getting them with all of them almost even though I don't like using microfiber for my child I do like them for cleaning or dusting they're very good for that and they wash well in the washing machine and I can just throw them away because they look ugly to me otherwise if they've been overused and if they stained a lot and I have tons of these but I still keep these hanging on my um counter now that I've gotten them and I'm making use of them uh, but yeah I had an alternative which was working fine um, next product that I'm going to talk to you about and this is a risky one because I actually uh, <clears throat> had many alternatives for this so <clears throat> this is <clears throat> the bees wrap yeah, that they sent me Send, they send me two sizes, a small and a, <clears throat> a small and a large. <clears throat> I hope you can tell. Yeah. So bees wrap is actually made of bees wax. And what you do is you put it on the pot. <clears throat> kind of like, I'll show you. Kind of like this. You press it down. This is a very small pot. You just press it down and by the heat of your palm it will stay put <clears throat> however when you put it in the fridge the moisture would evaporate and eventually it will start rising of the pot which i don't like about bees wrap this is nothing to do with the bees wrap that mighty fix has sent me mighty fix is actually sent me a very soft and a very waxy bees wrap but they don't last that long Okay, then what you do is you wash them by yourself by hand with the mild soap and water and it's fine again do not heat them at all they will melt for obvious reasons i actually had and this looks very stained i had actually had a, a beagle bees wax this is actually 
a little thicker and so it doesn't mold very easily but when it does it sticks well um this is by a canadian company i got three sizes of these and i got a good deal but these are good to have and i do make use of them but everyone in my family does it those two minutes Two, two minutes. Okay, so my kid is getting antsy, so I'm just gonna go through this fast. I used to use the foil, I still use the foil sometimes, and I need to cling wrap and I need to keep it tight. Or I have these or I have these Pyrex poles with the lid that so I don't re need to use or cover everything up throughout. ये चाहिए जो मेरे हाथ में ओके अच्छा मैं एक मिनट एक मिनट ओके लास्ट थिंग दैट आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट इज द लूको अ सिलिकॉन कवर्स या अ सो यू कैन यूज दीस ऑन टॉप ऑफ फ्रूट्स हाफ कट फ्रूट्स और इवन जार्स और नो जार्स कप ग्लासेस बिकॉज़ अ वेरी स्मॉल सो यू कांट यूज अ लॉट जार्स सो आई गॉट अ पैक ऑफ थ्री आई बिलीव दे आर द सेम साइज and what you do with these is again you stretch them on through your jar and you put them on i found these very difficult to put on and most of the time i use mason jars so they already have caps and covers and uh, the fruits that i cut up i just leave them in the fridge cut up they don't get that dry that fast so it's okay for me uh overall i do like Mighty Nest, I think it's 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 a great idea. It's lovely to get a surprise mail in your um, mailbox, and I do recommend it to people. But you really don't know what you're gonna expect, and I've learned about a lot of things from them, so that's interesting too. I hope I haven't left out any product. I've been uh, registered for them for at least six months now, and I hope I've shown you enough products to. Uh, to actually carry on with this opinion uh yeah i'm still uh subscribed to them and i enjoy getting free products i'll be getting my new product pretty soon since december is ending and the new year is starting and i'm excited about that uh i link them down below and if you have any questions let me know. okay my kid is getting really upset so i'm going to leave and take care of yourself happy holidays